Hi everyone, welcome to another Monday Maths question. The topic we'll be discussing in this video is proof recurring decimals. The question on Monday was x equals to 0 0.045, 45 being the recurring uh, numbers. And we needed to prove that x equals to one over 22. This is how we would do it. So if x equals to 0 0.0445, then 10x would equal to 0 0.4545 um, I'll keep it consistent and have it as five decimal places, okay? And then if we go to 100x, that would give us 4.54545. And then if we do 1000, I'll tell you why we're doing all this. So this would give us a 45.45454. So the reason why I did this is because I need to get rid of the recurring element of this decimal. So I want to get rid of this 45. The only way I can do that is, okay, I'm going to multiply this in tens so that I can multiply this in tens so in, I can find a way that would cancel out all the decimals. So if you look carefully here, we have this element here. This part is the same as this part. So if I was to do 1000x minus 10x and 45.45454 minus 0.45454, then it, these two cancel out. So I end up with the whole number and that's the whole point. So in order to prove recurring decimals, we're trying to get rid of these decimals so we have a fraction, okay? So if we were to do 1000 X equals to 45.45454 and 10 X equals to 0 0.45454, and we minus these two equations, we end up with 1000 minus 10 is 990x, and 45 minus this uh, 0 0.45454 is 45. And then if you're using your knowledge of algebra, whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other side. So I'm going to divide by 90 on both sides because I'm trying to solve for x. So X in this case, so this cancels out with this, so it's end up with one. So X equals to 45 over 990. If you're using a calculator, so this might come in a calculator exam, then well and good. Um, all you do is put 45 over 990 into the calculator, which should give you one over 22. Or you could try it out because look, you, if the question is saying one over 22, so that means what you can do is you can do 990, divide by 45 and then you could just do long column division um so you go 45 goes into here twice and you end up with 90 and then you carry nine forward and that gives you again 22 90 so it gives you one over 22 so you can either use a calculator or you can use um column division or um, bus stop division, whichever is comfortable, uh, whichever you find comfortable. Okay, so this is a very quick um, explanation on recurring decimals. It would appear more in the higher foundation. Um, so it will be in year, year 10 and 11 higher foundation. I mean, higher curriculum. Okay, thank you. See you next week. Bye.